Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life Scrapbooking and Card Making. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this beautiful shabby chic card using your papers, your metals, your flowers, leaf dye stamps and stamping pads from Graphic 45. We'll also be using several mediums, die cuts and glimmer mist to acquire that shabby chic effect. You'll find my Graphic 45 supply list in the area below the video and a full supply list along with photos in my blog. Enjoy the tutorial! As you can see, I've previously made a shabby chic card. We'll just call this my prototype. With this card, I made all the mistakes I needed to make. I made all sorts of adjustments. This way I would be able to let you all know what works and what doesn't work. Also, if you look closely, you'll be able to notice that I sewed around the edges using my crafting sewing machine, and I did a terrible job. But since it's shabby chic, I guess it's okay. <laughs> For this shabby chic card, we're going to use a 5x7 card base, our Graphic 45 Time to Flourish stamps, our Graphic 45 ink pads in cashmere and photogenic. And papers from our Graphic 45 Sunkissed 8x8 paper pad. We'll be using our Graphic 45 rose bouquets, leaf dies, and metal door plate. We're also going to use a sheet from a watercolor paper pad. This paper is heavier than cardstock and we're going to use it as a backing to our Graphic 45 paper. We're also going to use it for our intricate die cuts. We begin our project by selecting our papers from the Graphic 45 Sunkist paper collection. Keep it in mind that I'm using a 5x7 card base, I'm going to trim my papers accordingly. Now, because we're going to have a front heavy card, we're going to add a back paper and an inside mat to our shabby chic card.
as you can see here, I also apply some eye measuring for the front of my card. Now here's where you see me trim my watercolor paper to the size of my graphic 45 mat. And the reason that I'm doing this is because my graphic 45 paper is going to be glued down directly onto the watercolor paper. By adding the watercolor backing, the watercolor paper backing I mean, uh, to my graphic 45 paper, it's going to make it stronger and you'll be able to use all the elements that I'm going to use without worrying about your paper uh, receiving too much moisture. And now we ink around the edges with our Graphic 45 ink. The color that I'm using is named uh, Cashmere. And after we finish inking around the edges, we are going to use a distressor to distress around the edges as well. Once we're through distressing around the edges, we're going to add some glue to the back of our paper and we are going to apply it to our watercolor paper base. And now is a good time to add your double-sided tape to the back of your paper. Now, just so you know, we are not only using double-sided tape when it comes down to gluing this part onto our card, but we're also going to be uh, using some really good quality glue as well. Okay, so now that we've done all of our prep work, it is time to get our hands dirty. So the first thing that you see me do here is I'm applying some regular white craft paint. I'm just smudging it around the edges, kind of like lightening up the paper some. It's kind of like a whitewash and I'm not using anything other than my fingers. And I tell you, um, yeah, you may want to think twice before doing a manicure. <laughs> before you begin on this project. I'm not saying that it's going to ruin your manicure. I'm just giving you the heads up that uh, maybe having a manicure before this project was not one of my best ideas. <laughs> so I've been sitting on this stencil for like over a year and I am so thrilled that I finally get to use it. So I decided to go ahead and just kind of like do a couple of images here and there and what you see me using is modeling paste in white. One of the things that I enjoyed about making this shabby chic card for you is that it allowed me to use many, many of the tools in my craft room that I just don't get to use on a daily basis. So it was a lot of fun bringing out the heating gun, bringing out the modeling paste, bringing out the, the paint and, and everything else that went into the making of this project.
So now we're going to use our carnation stamp from our Time to Flourish stamps. And if you don't have the Graphic 45 Time to Flourish stamps, there are other stamps that Graphic 45 carries that you can use in a project such as this or any other project that you may have in mind. And for our stamping, the color that we're going to use is Photogenic from our Graphic 45 stamp pads. Once I'm satisfied with my stamping, I grab a piece of gauze to add texture to my project. And what I'm going to use to adhere gauze to my paper is some white gesso. I'm just going to apply some white gesso with the uh, sponge that you see on there and just dab, dab, dab. And uh, you don't have to saturate the entire piece of gauze if you don't want to. Just dab on enough for uh, it to stick to the paper and to shabby up the look. And once the gesso is dry, you are ready to adhere this part to your mat. Once this piece is in place, I'm going to take this over to my kitchen sink and I'm going to spray on some glitter mist. As you can see, it came out a little bit on the dark side, but that's not a problem because I can always use my gesso or my white craft paint to brighten it up a bit. So I decided to use one of my Graphic 45 metal door plates just to add a little bit of rustic elegance to my card. But first, I'm going to give it a little bit of some white gesso treatment just to shabby it up a bit. Because the gesso acts more like a primer than a coloring agent, I then decided to add some white craft paint after the gesso had dried. I also use gesso on the back of my metal door plate. This will help the hot glue adhere better when applied. Once the metal plate is placed on the central part of the card, we are now ready to decorate our shabby chic card.
it as a finishing touch to our shabby chic card, we're going to use the Thinking of You sentiment from our Graphic 45 Time to Flourish stamp collection, along with our Graphic 45 ink pad in Photogenic. Once I'm done decorating my card, I apply a topper to the top of my card. I think it makes it look real pretty. And what you see me doing there is I'm just uh, trying to center my topper as best as I can by using my tool and the guidelines from my crafting mat. So as far as the topper is concerned, you could just grab something from your stash and you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't have one. I think the cards look just as pretty without them. I just thought that it would add a little bit more elegance by adding this piece to my shabby chic card. And the final step is to adhere our card front to our card base. And that's pretty much it, friends. I hope that you found this Graphic 45 Shabby Chic card process enjoyable and that I've been able to inspire you to try one out for yourself. Paper crafting is a calming and satisfying hobby for me, and I hope that it is one for you as well. And if you just happen to land on this video and you're not a subscriber as of yet, I invite you to subscribe to my channel at Decorate Your Life, scrapbooking and card making i focus on paper crafting project shares and tutorials thank you so very much for watching i'll see you once again in the next video bye now